Andy Mello from Mellow Fab here. Um, gonna do another video on this Viking. I know I've got one video out on the brake squeak and the fix, which works pretty much flawlessly. Uh, but I'm actually gonna tear this one down and uh, uh, do the repair kind of lifetime, do a front and a rear. The, the repair is basically the same. I'm gonna show the tools required and uh, the Seal Glide product that I use. Um, and we're gonna do it on this brand new one. It's squeaked since this guy picked it up the first day. Uh, and as you'll see in the video, lack of lube is definitely the issue with these things of squeaking. Okay, here we go. I know I've done a video on this before, but not actually physically taking it apart and in very detail showing all the locations to lube for the traditional Yamaha brake squeak. But this is a 2022 uh, squeak from day one. Uh, going to take this one apart and I'll show you that the lube is inadequate in most locations uh, if there's any at all but I'll show you the tools necessary to do this uh, the tool set is just a little bit different from the front to the rear because the bottom bolt on the rear is tight and you got to kind of use a wrench but on the front deep 12 millimeter socket for your caliper bolt there and then you'll need a five millimeter Allen. I'll show you a little bit more detail when I get the caliper off, but you have your pins that go through the pad. You'll bust them loose with it bolted up so it's easier to get it. And these are prone to stripping when you get some miles. There's a couple techniques you can use. I'll go through that here in a little bit. Shouldn't have that problem on this machine. But we'll take this apart and then I will show you the locations to lube. I'm going to start with just busting these pins loose, the five, five millimeter. They broke loose just fine on this new machine, which I expected they would. And the 12s. One at the bottom. Now it's that easy to get the caliper apart. See, obviously just brand new pads Everything's new here, but you can see here are the Allens that I'm talking about that go through the pads. So at this point, I'm broke loose. And you'll just take them out. See them there. They might stick a little bit. When they have miles and corrosion on them, it is hard to get these pins out, even this brand new one, because the pads, I'll show you, to get them out. The top, you have these spring clips, and they kind of push down on the pads, so that makes it, that puts a little pressure on them. And I'm gonna pause the video for a minute and get a little better angle of these slide pins. At this point, all you have to do to get the caliper off these pins is just slide this bracket out. You can see this pin, it's dry. Just a, just a fuzz right there at the end. That's not gonna do anything. It don't slide there anyway. Same with this bottom pin. Virtually nothing on it. 
So what we're gonna do, seal glide. You can get it several different places. This just happened to come from Napa, no big deal. But you're gonna lube up the pins. Before we do that, we're gonna inspect everything in the caliper here. See, this one is just whistle clean because it's new, but I'm gonna have to, I don't have to push these pistons in because I'm not replacing the pads. They're brand new. But you can see this caliper's in great shape. But when you have one with some miles and you're taking this apart for squeak, it's a good idea to clean around these pistons good before you press them back in so you're not pressing grime down in the caliper. A little sandpaper or something, just clean them up. Some brake cleaner. And then you can put some penetrating oil around these, press them back in and make sure this clip is not damaged. Still got some good spring to it. You can feel it. Clean it all up. And then you will be ready to lube these pins. And if you put too much, you'll know when you go to put it back in the caliper, it won't go all the way in the rubber boot because the grease will not compress. We'll pressurize, but it won't compress. Did you hear the pop sound? It popped up, you gotta make sure your rubber's tucked up over the lip here so it doesn't let grime from the trail in. We've got it. We're in there now. So we we're back assembled. Like I said, with this being new, there's not a whole lot of cleanup. But it's nice that it's new that I can show you this. Okay. Went ahead and done one thing while the video paused. Uh, off-road pads, especially on, on you know anything off-road, you take it off, it's they're prone to having some haze or glaze on the contact surface um, if you have any haze at all doesn't hurt at all get you some I just used a scuffing pad and done it by hand you don't want to get too crazy sandpaper just something and knock the glaze off because uh, you can have grit and grime and stuff that's compacted in there that could be chewing into your pads or your rotors so this didn't take much at all obviously like I said a new machine but we're going to flip the pads over and just a light film here. We don't want a lot. Just kind of spread it out. Put you some on. Because as the brakes apply and release, these do move in the caliper. And it is a contact point which can make noise. And then going back together can be a little bit of a puzzle. And lay it up in there and you see how it lines up in the guides here. So you're going to want to, at this point, get your back, your pin started into this inside pad. So these are perfectly clean and smooth so I don't have to clean them off but we are gonna put this on there so they move good gonna get one started See, this one's good and smooth as well. So 
just a light film on this. You don't want a lot of build up to sling around and get on your rotor. See the pin is going through right there. You push too far, you don't want to go too far through because you can't get your outside pad in. We're going to lay our outside pad in here. You got to kind of push down into it to preload that spring. And then just so you know you got it good, just kind of hand thread it in, make sure everything's started. And this is all lined up great. And you can finish tightening these once you get the caliper on where it's holding. And then you'll just kind of spread the pads out by hand. Tighten up your caliper bolts. And these Allen heads that you're going to tighten, if you are using air tools to put it back in or cordless tools, just be careful because if you are slamming on it real hard, it's easy for the Allen to round the socket out. And you don't want to do that because then the next time you take it back apart, you will struggle really bad getting the pins out. Well, that concludes the front. I'll do the same to the other side. And then when we go to the back, I'll show you the mild difference in tool configuration you need. And uh, that'll conclude the brake squeal fix for the Yamahas. Okay, we are now in the back. Virtually the same procedure. I just wanted to show you this one, the bottom caliper bolt here. As you can see, there's not a lot of room between this shield and the bolt. You can take the shield off if you choose. Factory setup, you can squeeze a three inch drive ratchet with a short socket, you can just get it in there. Um, but if you have replaced your control arms with anything aftermarket super ATV, the arch type, uh, lots of things can get in the way and it makes it kind of wrench only, which is not that big of a deal, but in the factory setup, you're good. Besides that, we will be the same as the front bottom 12 millimeter top and then you have your five millimeter allens that go through i'll bust them loose and uh, the procedure will be the same for the rear and when i get this one apart i'm going to show you a trick to getting those allen bolts out if they ever strip out Okay, like I said, the physical procedure of taking everything apart is identical to the front, so I saved you some time there. But as you can see, no grease. Just about every Yamaha that I have took apart, same thing, no grease. But on these pins, as you can see, it is an Allen, and they are bad about stripping out. If you ever go to service your brakes, change the pads, lube up to stop the squeak, whatever you're doing, and these pins do start to strip out. A savior method you can start with is get you a set of Torx bit sockets and go the next size up from the Allen 
and hopefully you can fit one in by hand. If not, you can peck it in with a hammer. Uh, most of the time, that'll get it out. Sometimes you run into a step-up procedure where you gotta go the next size Allen and the next size torque till you can finally get it to come out. Uh, it can be a, a pill, but that is one method that is pretty convenient at getting these out. One last pointer on the rear, when removing the Allen head pins or just at least loosening them up, um, obviously you see this shield, it gets in the way for sure of getting to the bottom when you have to really flex this over or remove it. Um, when removing the Allen heads, you can take the caliper bolts out or take one of them out and swivel it up and use that as leverage to break it loose. Um, and same going back together. Uh, you can put them in and uh, tighten them up. I was actually able to hold the caliper and tighten them up sufficiently, uh, which you should be able to do. Uh, but just another little pointer because that can get tight right here on this heat shield, or this, I'm sorry, this control arm shield for the CV boot. Um, and without taking that off, this can be done easily by just removing these bolts and swiveling the caliper up for some access. Hope this video helped someone out. Um, my original video, I never did take my machine apart. I'd already done the repair, was just covering the contact points, but when this Viking came to me, 2022, uh, squeaking from day one, I thought a great opportunity to tear one down, uh, film it as I was doing it, uh, help people out that was kind of wondering if they could do it themselves. Um, just a great fix that works and gets rid of that annoying sound. Uh, everyone like and subscribe. Uh, I know we're a while away, but when we get to a thousand subscribers, i um, going to do a cool giveaway. Um, I'll do a video later when we get closer and uh, go from there. But if you have any questions on this video, just comment and I will get back with you.